Hey, Terry, John Keim, how, how close were you to not being able to go, and why was it important for you to be out there tonight? Yeah, um, it, was, it was tough um, being at home last week. Um, you know, a lot of prayers, a lot of support from my family, my girlfriend, my teammates. It was hard, you know, looking them in the face and not knowing if I was going to be able to play uh, this week, um, knowing how hard they've been working. And, um, you know, I was doing everything I could. I was around the clock treatment. Um, shout out to our staff. You know, they were they took great care of me. Um, you know, I did some great things outside of the building with um, a massage therapist and um, a chiropractor. And it's it. I'm just thankful to be in this position. Um, God's really good uh, to be able to allow me to come out here and play. And, um, you know, I was sitting on my couch last week. And I'm like, if there's any opportunity that I could come out here and, and just be out here, you know what I mean? Just, you know, being a captain, being a guy that guys, um, you know, respect. Uh, my main focus was just trying to be out here. I didn't really care about catches or yards. I just wanted to be out here for my guys. Although we've been through this year, um, ups and the downs. It was for this moment right here. It wasn't pretty, but uh, we came out on the other side and we're champions. So, um, you know, a lot of a long road ahead, but I was in a walking boot all week and I couldn't practice. And, you know, that was killing me too, because you know, I like practicing and, you know, Alex couldn't practice and Taylor was getting reps. Um, you know, you just want to get out there and get a rhythm, give guys some confidence. But Thursday I started turning the corner. Um, I knew I had a chance to play and um, nobody was going to tell me different after that. So um, I'm just real thankful to be in this situation and, and able to play this week. And um, it made it all worth it seeing my teammates' faces when I jogged out there for uh, for uh, the walkthrough on Saturday. And some of them didn't even know I was playing until today. So um, just happy to be a part of this group of guys. Hey, Terry, how did it feel as the game wore along? Or are you playing just simply on adrenaline at that point? Yeah, I was. Um, I was. Um, but at the end of the day, it, my only focus was just trying to be here for my teammates. Um, you know, it, as the game goes on, you get a little sore, you get a little banged up, but you know, that's football. And, um, you know, at the end of the day, um, I, you know, I don't want to make this about my injury or make it seem like I did some heroic thing coming back. Because at the end of the day, if you, you know, you, you want to put yourself in the best situation to help your team. And that's what I wanted to do this week. And, um, you know, I'm just glad to be on the other side, healthy and with a win. So um, great start to 2021. I'm sure Terry, you know that you, you don't want to be considered that you did anything heroic, but was there any discussion about possible risk for the risk if you did go out there and, and play? Yeah, there's always risk um, when you play this game, um, when you're healthy or when you're, when you're banged up. And uh, I try not to focus on that. Obviously, it was kind of in the back of my mind, honestly, but um, at the end of the day, I was going to go out there and 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 give it my all, honestly. Um, you know, once I knew Thursday I could run, um, I was going to go tape me up and, and let's go. So, um, you know, I'm just fortunate to be in this situation and thankful for our medical staff who took care of me. I worked really hard to try to just be out here for our guys. And, um, you know, it feels it's sore right now, but it feels a lot better because we won. So it's all good. Hey, Terry, sure. you mentioned the fact that you didn't practice all week, and obviously Alex wasn't able to practice as much as usual this week with his calf strain. Mm -hmm. But you two, in a fit of irony, or maybe because the season is the way it has been, you guys go out and score that opening touchdown, the first one you guys have had of this season. Yeah. Um, can you talk about, obviously you guys didn't have a chance to practice, but the momentum that that created for the team and obviously how big it was for your teammates to see you come up with a play like that in this yeah. particular game? I mean, I think it was it was great to get off to a start like that. Um, I didn't even know that we hadn't start, uh, scored on the opening drive until you just said it. But, um, you know, Alex and I didn't really get any reps this week. Uh, we were actually kind of just in the training room trying to get ourselves right to be out here. And um, that's when you got to take the mental side of the game. I was in my in my house running through the scripts, running through the plays. Um, you know, Alex came up to us before the game, was talking through things and through the walkthrough. So um, while you may not be able to get those physical reps during the week at this point in the season, those mental reps can be – um, almost as beneficial if you take take advantage of them. And for us to come out on the opening drive and score seven, I feel like that was a, a tone setter um, for our offense and, and our and our defense. So um, it was it was cool to come out and, and execute that on on really little to no reps. We'll take a couple more for Terry. Terry, how much time did you actually spend with Alex? I guess like in the treatment room maybe this week. And, and what did you see from him uh, today? 
Yeah, we were in there every day, <laughs> six six a.m. You know, he was probably in there in there even longer than I was, and um, you know, seeing a guy like that who's been through as much as he has and just continues to fight, continues to try to put himself in a situation to to help this team. I mean, um, you know, you can't give him enough credit for that, and um, I'm kind of you know, I like to see myself as built the same way, just doing whatever you can to help this team. Um, whenever they, whenever I had that opportunity Thursday, I knew I could, I could run. I was going to take that and run with it. And I was just happy to be out here with my team today. And, um, you know, just to be out here with Alex and getting this win for all that we've been through as a team, all that he's been through individually. Um, this one's, this one's pretty sweet. Hey, Terry, what do you, what do you remember about, um, just being three and 13 last year and just kind of how different the atmosphere is now that you guys have actually won the division and how far you've come. Yeah, that was, that was tough. And coming out of college, um, you know, coming from Ohio state, that was a little different, but um, you know, I've, I've learned from some great leaders on our team, both last year and this year. And it's about just continually working, you know, swinging at that rock until it breaks. And, um, you know, I felt like Coach Rivera really gave us a mindset that we could do with every, anything that we set our minds to. And it starts with the way we come prepared at practice, the way we prepare, the way we compete against each other and uh, the toughness that we show. I mean, I, you know, we, we have a perfect example in Coach Rivera. Um, you know, I, I, I was going to do whatever I could to, to be out here for this team. But, I mean, it feels great a year later seeing how far we've come with pretty much, um, you know, the same nucleus of guys with some great additions in the off season. And, um, you know, I like where we're heading. Um, you know, it's not a complete celebration party because we got to get focused for Tampa Bay next week. But I felt like this was a great step in the right direction for us as a, as a team and organization.